over a third of the food that is produced in the world is actually wasted. It's estimated that 170,000 tons of food actually ends up in landfills like the, ones that, the one that you see behind us. You know, I, don't, I had no idea it was that much. And, um, you know, with all the people that are out there that are, you know, homeless or starving, um, certainly, you know, we can do, you know, we can do a better job to, f to feed them with, you know, without sending that stuff to the landfill. So this event actually is making use of food that normally would have ended up in a place like behind us. And it shows that this food does not have to be wasted food. And just raising that awareness so people realize that a lot of that material actually is valuable food and that we should be, we should be eating it and we should be making use of it. It originated in London and London, England, and they were doing Feed 5000 because they're such a bigger, bigger city than Red Deer. And um, the whole idea, though, was to educate the public about uh, wasting food and, you know, obviously trying not to waste food. So educating people that just because you have an ugly potato or an ugly carrot doesn't necessarily mean that it's, it needs to go in the garbage. We've been, uh, you know, soliciting donations from uh, different grocery stores, different uh, gardeners, farmers, things like that. Again, looking for uh, produce that was basically going to go to the landfill, um, and we're calling it rescued food. So we got uh, 120 chickens from a chicken farm operation, and we're making that into a chicken curry. That was one of the students' ideas to do that. Uh, we got a whole bunch of a whole bunch of beets, uh, over 80 pounds of beets. So again, we're we're uh, making that into a borscht. It's kind of soup season now. Who doesn't like a, a nice bowl of borscht? Um, we got a bunch of loaves of bread. Actually, 250 loaves of bread, um, all different shapes and sizes. And we're going to cube those up, and we're going to make those into a bread pudding. we have here hearing that it got all donated and that it was gonna get thrown out like that surprises me so much like all the chicken and everything like it looks perfectly fine like I would use it the fact that we throw it out is crazy today most of the preparations getting done so we're actually going to be preparing the bread pudding we're gonna be making the borscht today uh, we're working on a potato hash that's gonna go along with the curry and we're making a plum sauce we've got a bunch of donated plums as well so we're making a plum sauce to go along with the bread pudding as well Well, it's kind of, you know, a, you know, little tricks of the trade, you know, and, and you learn them when you're in the industry. You know, for example, cutting uh, the crusts off the bread and, and saving those, those crusts and drying them out, grinding them into breadcrumbs. You know, we often need to, uh, breadcrumbs to bread uh, certain items before we deep fry them, things like that. Um, using the whole vegetable as much as we can, right? Using everything but the core. I always train my students, you know, on the very first day. I say, you know, I know you guys know how to peel an onion. I know you how to peel a carrot. But this is the way I want you to do it with the absolute minimal wastage. Taste it. Smell it. If it's gone past the best before date, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gone bad, right? It's going to start to ferment, and that's going to give you a sour odor or a sour flavor. So, you know, even if, even if the, the cream says September 5th and it's September 12th, you know, you, you can still taste it, and if it tastes fine, well, then go ahead and use it. Um, again, just try to meal plan. So don't just go to the grocery store with no plan, um, you know, for, for what you're buying. See if you can plan out, well, this is what we're going to have for Sunday dinner. This is what we're going to have for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And only buy the products that are on your list to make those specific meals, right? Don't just go and fill up your shopping cart and then, you know, go home and, and you know, figure that you did a good job, right? There's so many social, environmental, and economic 
issues around food waste. Um, $31 billion in food is wasted in Canada every year. And so that money, and that's when people are going hungry. So um, uh, 300 million meals. So it's just staggering. The amount of energy that is used to grow, transport, and retail this food, and then it goes to waste, it's just really inefficient. And so we need to be able to, um, to change those systems. I think it's an incredible initiative and I'd like to see more of it. I think if we think about our own households and how much I'm guilty of it as well, putting food in the landfill or not composting, uh, this is a real opportunity to be able to give back to the community, don't waste and uh, make edible tasty products. I tried the borscht soup as well as the smoothie and I feel well fed. I'm so excited to report that we've diverted over 800 kilograms of food today from the landfill and it's turned into some awesome meals.